Hello and welcome to this online workshop about the flute facilitated by the Northwest Cultural Partnerships Art Project. In this music and information workshop we are going to look at two examples of different instruments which would be popular choice for flute players in Northern Ireland ensemble and bands. We will also take a look at the part of the history of the flute and give some tips showing the technique involved in playing them. The two types of flute which we are going to concentrate on are mostly the metal constructed concert or silver flute and the wooden or resin made B flat flute. Let's begin our journey by taking a brief look back at the history of the flute. The early forms of flutes made from various materials can be traced back to around 43,000 years ago. There is some evidence that one of the first flutes could be created using the femur bone of a baby bear. This image of an early flute type instrument has been made from the baby bear femur bone. It is unclear if this fragment of the bone is all or only part of this early instrument. It was found in a cave at an archaeological park in Slovenia in 1995, and today it is on display in the National Museum of Slovenia. Before the discovery of the baby bear bone, it had been thought that the earliest flutes were made from bird bone or mammoth ivory. There is a dispute over which was the earliest but scientists have used carbon dating to establish that examples are approximately 42 or 43,000 years ago. Paintings discovered on walls appear to show people holding instruments that are flute-like and there are many examples from the Orient and Middle East that reference flute or whistle type instruments. In the 1300s, flute began to appear more regularly in different countries throughout the world as travel and trade become the way of life. In the 1400s, the flute becomes part of the military life. It is believed that they originally came from the mercenary soldiers from Switzerland or Germany, and they were used as rallying instruments to call troops, do meals, parades or punishments. They also found use on the battlefield to relay signals because of their high-pitched sound. The flute used at the time was a small six-hole fife type instrument, which would evolve through time and eventually lead to the formation of army corps of drums and civilian flute bands. In this clip you will see the corps of drums section of the band of the Irish Guards on ceremonial duties at the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. In the late 1600s, Jean Jacques Hortel, a member of the French flute making family, creates the first major adjustment to the flute. He made the flute in three sections head, middle, and foot, and also added a corneal bore. He also made the six original holes smaller and added a key covered hole, which would allow the flute player to play an E flat or D sharp note. The addition of this key would be very significant as the flute now developed. The flute was very difficult to play in tune with all our instruments in the orchestra and over the next number of years more keys were added. They were the F, G sharp, C natural and B flat keys. This helped flute players to play and create more notes with more ease. The 1800s saw the transformation of the flute into the instrument we now play. This was mainly due to the work of a German goldsmith who was a flautist in the court orchestra of Munich, called Theobald Borm. Borm's flute had more holes than previous flutes, and a new finger and scale was created that was resisted at first by many flute players. His flute also required a new system of levers and keys to close and open holes not accessible to the human finger span. Borm's later flutes, made from German silver, have only been tinkered with in the 150 years since his death in 1881 showing the remarkable skill of his work. We will now look at two different types of flutes. They are the flutes that are most popular in Northern Ireland and form the core of the different flute bands here. Northern Ireland has the biggest concentration of flute players per head of population in the world. This is the concert C flute, the flute played by orchestras, brass and wind bands. It is also the core flute of the concert flute bands this flute has changed very little since Theobald Borm invented it over 150 years ago. The concert C flute is manufactured by many instrument makers and can be factory produced or handmade. 
Basic factory models are a couple of hundred pounds with precision handmade models costing from the low thousands to many thousands depending on the quality and materials. Some flutes are made of pure gold and are lifelong investments. Here are a short example of how it can sound with all our flutes in different settings and styles. The second type of flute here is the B-flat flute. The flute is the direct descendant of the early military fifes that were used from the 16th century. The main models used in Northern Ireland are the machine made Mower Brown from London and the handmade Mowerwick NI. The Mowerwick NI B-flat flute is a wooden flute made from African blackwood and are based on the famous Crown AZ flute from the end of the 1800s. They come as two or three piece instruments and are handmade in Coquille, County Down, Northern Ireland. They were originally designed by John Muller and John Wicks in London in 1983 and the manufacturer then transferred to Coquille when Paul Irwin bought out the company in the 1990s. They retained their original name as a condition of the sales agreement. These flutes are made by hand and can cost between £250 and £300. The Mower Brown B flat flute is machine manufactured and has been the standard flute of military and civilian bands for many years. Although the quality of the Mowerwick's NA handmade flute is superior, the Mower Brown flutes cost much less and is adequate for producing a good sound for flute bands. They also come as two or three piece flutes and can cost between £100 to £150 each. The contrast in sound quality, price and the size of the different flutes is quite clear to see but each flute is basically very similar to play and good players can produce excellent musical sound from either of them. Here are a short example of how it can sound with all our flutes in different settings and styles. <laughs> Sir James Galway has led the way for solo flute players performing on the world stage. Born in Belfast in 1939, he started off playing a B-flat flute in the Onward Flute Band in Belfast, before progressing to the concert flute and playing in and with some of the greatest orchestras in the world. In 1975, he sensationally quit the world-famous Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra to pursue a solo career. His style and technique are legendary and he has sold over 30 million albums and is still playing. He was nicknamed the man with the golden flute because he has a flute made of 24 karat gold. This is an extract of Sir James Galway playing London Derry Air. In this final section of the workshop, we will look at how to play the flute, explain the techniques used to blow and hold the flute, and show you how to play three notes on the flute. Getting sound from the flute can take some time and a lot of work learning and practicing how to blow into the flute. Different techniques will work differently for different people and can be a lot of trial and error. Start by drawing your lips back against your teeth, but keep your lips together. 
position the head of the flute so the edge of the embouchure or where you blow into is on the edge of your lip. The groove between your lip and chin is a good place to rest the flute and this will keep it steady. If you're not getting any sound, try rolling the flute in and out on your lip and also moving it left and right. You can use a mirror to help with this. Here is a couple of different angles of blowing into the flute and the sound you should be trying to achieve. If you don't have a flute at home, you can use a pen top, one with no hole in it. Place the pen top in the middle of your lips and move the pen top in different positions until you get a sound, like in this clip. Another item you can use to practice is a plastic bottle. Again, place the edge of the bottle on the edge of the lip and blow down into the bottle and you should hear a deep tone. We are now going to learn how to hold the flute. Pick up the flute so that it points out to the right hand side. Then place your left hand on the flute level with the first three holes so the palm faces back towards the player as seen in the picture. The first three fingers, the index, middle and ring fingers of the left hand cover the three upper holes with your left thumb positioned in front of the B-flat key, it is important that this feels comfortable. Moving on to the first three notes on the flute, we have the first note, which is a B. To play a B on the B-flat flute, place your first finger, your index finger, of your left hand on the first finger hole, and your little finger of your right hand on the last key, as shown in the picture below. For the second note, which is an A, keep your index finger on the first hole and place your middle finger of your left hand on the second finger hole and keep your little finger of your right hand on the last key again as shown in the picture. Our last note in this workshop is a G keeping your index and middle fingers on the first two holes add your ring finger of your left hand onto the third finger hole keeping your little finger of your right hand on the last key. When placing fingers on the finger holes, make sure they are completely covering the holes so they don't let any air escape. Thank you for watching this flip workshop as part of the Northwest Cultural Partnerships Arch Project.